need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, man, we early on in the NBA season, you know what I'm saying? But but we have seen a lot of balls so far. Since I did the uh, schedule real jam-packed. Seems like we got a whole lot of games per night, you know what I'm saying? As we taping right now, we got games going on. But uh, so far, what was some of y'all uh, surprised? What was some like you thought this player was going to be nice and just coming out the blocks, they ain't doing too good or – uh, you thought this player, you wasn't this player wasn't on your radar, and they coming out hooping, or this team looks underwhelming so far. Like it look like they got some chemistry issues, or just out the gate. What are some of the things that's kind of surprising you so far, JoJo? We'll start with you, pimp. Man, I'm a, uh, you know, I had a couple of them. We got uh, the Cavaliers at three and one. Um, the Wizards not winning a game yet. That's kind of shocking. But I did say that they would be fighting for the look AT. Here. Hey, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. You didn't have to bring that up. I did say they'd be fighting for the AT. Somebody gave some pushback on that for real. I don't know who it was. Uh, but <laughs> it's early. It's look early. At, looking at the Western Conference and, and granted, people, we four games in. I get it. But looking at the Western Conference, it looked kind of tight. Everybody like either two and one, two and or two and two, one and two, whatever, right? The Orlando Magic. This is a team that have been <laughs> consistent <laughs> with being an AC. And I can remember before the year started, somebody basically had them out. That they weren't giving them no type of credit whatsoever. Uh, the person disappeared off the screen. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> But the Orlando Magic is four and old people. Oh, God. They are basically saying we heard Adam Wells' first letter. Oh, he, he tried to take our our kingship of the AC and give it to somebody else. So you know what? We gonna take we gonna take the first seed and see how he likes that. Um. Uh, so that's what I'm going with, Orlando. 4-0, shout out you over there. Y'all down there in Orlando, uh, Florida. Um, it didn't even matter that Toronto got to play down that way. Orlando doing their thing right now. Markel, folks, you got your money. Hey, I'm glad to see that because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with the whole shoulder in that situation because that was scary. Um, but, I mean, Aaron Gordon, you got cheated twice in a dunk contest. They taking it out on people right now. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out Orlando Magic. Shout out to that Tar Heel down there. That's why they winning. That's why they winning because they got that Tar Heel <laughs> down there br bringing that winning culture. That's what they doing. All right, all right. I, I gotta spin it some kind of way. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what you got, T? Who, who your oh. what's, what's surprising you so far, man? Oh. Really, I mean, I mean, the Orlando thing is 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 interesting. I'm kind of surprised by how Boston's looking right now. Early on, uh, I really thought Boston would come out, even even despite Kimba not being there. I really did think they'd come out and look a lot better than they look right now. But they they uh, I think they I think there may be a little bit of pressure on them in terms of what was expected of them last year. And now going into this year, and I know, you know, it's been it's a short it was a short little lapse between the season or whatever. But um, man, they just it just it just seemed like Boston ain't clicking right now. But but to be honest with you, overall the the biggest surprise, which really ain't no surprise for me, but uh, Atlanta at three and zero. I I think Atlanta is going to be a playoff team in the East. Um, I think they've got enough talent there. I mean, heck, man. I mean, when you got the likes of uh, Trey Young and John Collins, and then you got Capella, then you got Cam Reddish and uh, DeAndre Hunter and Gallinari and Bogdanovich. I mean, man, you got guys. Like, like, there, really like there should not be a night where somebody don't get off on that team. So, 
you know, if Atlanta just plays some sort of defense. Oh, and then I forgot Rondo. Yeah, got Rondo got leadership. Rondo, man. I mean, just just his IQ and what he can be able to put in the tray. Man, Atlanta ought to be that ought to be something to deal with now. We might get an Atlanta Orlando Eastern Conference Finals or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're not letting me make it, America. They're not letting me make it. It's early. We're going to see. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but, it, but it will be fun to watch. Now, I will say, too, uh, and I'm just doing some, just doing a little reading, but Indiana, I didn't like the firing of Nate McMillan. I didn't like that. Yeah. Uh, last year. But the guy they got in the fold now, and I can't remember where he came from. I can't remember if he came from San Antonio or where he came from. But but uh, he's brought in a more up to pace, up up to, up tempo, quicker pace type offense, and it looked like it's working for those guys uh, down there. And I mean, they got young legs. I mean, you got Brogdon, Sabonis, Turner, Oladipo. You got young legs, so um, it's definitely working for Sabonis. It's working. It's working. And Sabonis, he's been a boy now. You know? Yeah. You know, OKC kind of let him go out the door a little early, but yeah. Ouch. He, he's a guy. Now, he's For Paul George. For Paul George. But, there, but, there you uh, go. but, you know, but, you know, I'm just saying we might need to put some bonus over Paul George or something around this piece. But, uh, <laughs> but, it, but you know, it's early. You know, we I'm sure we'll get back to it, you know, in more episodes to come, just talk about what's going on. But, um. I'm intrigued. What I'm intrigued by, I'll be honest with you, and it's just this is not a surprise, but I'm just intrigued. I want to see what Portland's gonna do going forward. Atlanta and Orlando have impressed me so far. Uh the the, the Sixers are three and one. <coughs> Doc experiment is working so far. <coughs> uh the Knicks are two. Well, and two. Did, what, what wrong with Joe if they need some uh cough drop? Oh no, I had I, I thought I heard him say the Sixers were impressive, and I remember I had them in the Eastern Conference Finals and somebody. No, you had them in the finals. Oh, oh yeah, the finals, and somebody um berated me in a light <laughs> man in a light manner. Joe, because you said they're gonna beat the Nets. Just watch. Just now, watch. Just watch. You had work. I think you had work that night. Till you here over here, don't. I was here. I, I heard it. I saw the segment. Hold on. Are you co-signing this, T? Cause we no. ain't put you on wax no, that no, night. No, no, no. What I'm yeah. saying to you is, I'm going back to what I said, and that's the Nets will not be in the finals. That's what I said. <laughs> Hold oh. on. You know we got, since we're doing surprises. Who you got in the finals out the East? Uh. Atlanta and Orlando. I might as well go put it out there. What you be done with it? Now, um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Sixers. Man, I'm telling you, I really think this year. I really, I really want to take a young team. I really do. I really want to take oh. Atlanta or, or, or Orlando. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. So you are co-signing them. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough because I got to see some ball. Like y'all didn't catch me before season started. So I got right. to some things happen. Yeah, that's unfair. See, Joe. So I'm, unfair. Not, I'm not in a good frame of mind right now to go give you what. Hold on. So who 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 would you had you not seen? Okay, okay. Really honestly, I'd have probably said I might have would have rolled Nets and Celtics. That might have been what I'd have said. Nets, Celtics, okay. I might have would have said that. Uh, I so probably you, had, you got me up here on your I train. Said, I, I, I'm, I, I had I, the I heat in the net. I, I, I would have been driving the heat bus. I'm st- I'm probably would still, but Giannis ain't coming. And I told Giannis to come on over here. I told you he wasn't built that way, T. Giannis supposed to come on town. But Bam, I see. Already, I Bam see. Said, Bam said, I Bam see. said he ain't talked to Giannis since he since he resigned. And they supposed to be, they got the same agent. No, T. T, you told me <laughs> Bam gonna be a boy going forward, that the hero and Robinson gonna keep growing, that Jimmy gonna do gym things. So I you mean, left I'm, me out here by myself. T, T you did, you did, because you got at me about that. 
I want I want them to come. I want I want the Heat to make it. I really do. Okay. But see, again, I'm a prisoner of right now. Of right I mean, now, can't you see what? Okay. So, um, but that without Jimmy, I know. But that shouldn't be. That's that's just like saying Kawhi and the fifty piece. So you saying Bam didn't do what he was supposed to do? I I put it like this. All right, honestly, honestly, if you want to put me on wax, I'll say I'll say Heat Celtics. Cause I'm, cause I don't think the Nets are gonna be healthy. Heat Celtics. That's my, that's my final. Heat Celtics. And who winning out of that? Who going to the finals? The Heat. We'll go back. Now, T, you just had Sixers, but I talked you into. Them. See that? What? See that? See yeah, what there? you got going, T? Heat Celtics. Heat Celtics. Heat Celtics. Before the season even started, I would have said Heat Celtics. Okay. I'm not putting the Nets nowhere. You got you got a man with a list, Frank. Oh, oh I know what this is. Kyrie. I, yeah, yeah, that's what this is. So basically, basically he he he's saying they're going to self implode. You know, I've been, I been saying that. Yeah, which I can yeah. see it. But I just I had the 76ers beating the Nets. I put it like this here: Atlanta would upset the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I feel. Well, you got the shock face. No, what the What's hell is your that, surprise? What is in that cup? I got, I got margarita right now, man. I'm drinking on margarita. My surprise is the fact that Anthony Davis has not taken this lead. I know it's yeah. early. America, shut the fuck up. I know it's early, but I'm talking about mentality. I thought this motherfucker. Who came that close? He came that close to winning the finals MVP along with his first ship. That got damn close. But some told me that he was like, Bron, I'm gonna let you go ahead and have that one. Because a, a, a couple of them games where Bron just took off with it, yeah. AD wasn't aggressive, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't doing that. So I said, maybe they maybe they got some inner work and we're like, they're gonna be like, Man, I know you in this goat talk with Mike. Go ahead. Uh, you know, as long as we win, I don't give a fuck. Gotcha. But I expected this year that this boy was going to say, Bron, hey, I know you in this your 18th year. We only had 70 some day, which that's we talked about how that's bullshit because they had a long break for COVID. But yeah, yeah. hey, Bron, you just coach. You can coast this year, this Anthony Davis League this year. Yeah. And this motherfucker came out the box. First game against the Clippers. Them boys have been talking that shit. Right. And I'm looking at the box score. And this man took fewer, took the same shots that game as Schroeder. So a guy who coming from another team uh -huh. to your team, a guy who nowhere in your talk, these motherfuckers saying you the second best player in the world right now. Y'all taking the same amount of shots. And we lose that fucking game. Okay, yeah. our other loss against Portland yesterday. Again, we taping on Tuesday. This motherfucker take 14 shots. Schroeder takes 16. Listen, I don't want to. He supposed to be taking the most shots. I agree. On the whole team, but he's not aggressive. So I'm shocked. And I hope this it doesn't stay like this. I, I hope going forward, Anthony Day, but... You know what? Dr. Maya Angelo told me. When somebody shows you who they are, believe. And this AD. I'm not you know what I'm not. I, I don't want to offer any excuse for him. Because it's not an excuse. Because you're absolutely right. Um, This is what I will say. It, this probably going to be a high take. So, I'm, you know what? Go I ahead and give it. Joe. Go ahead and give it to me. Hold him up, man. All right. The Lakers... I still believe the Lakers will win the championship this year. I do think they have a problem on their hands. And it's Schroeder. I think he's going to become a problem. I watched last night against the Blazers. Schroeder is trying to be, if not the first, the second best player on this team. Because he's, he's just putting up shots. And I'm, I'm watching the way him and Bron kind of interact. And it, it's it's a weird interaction to me. Cause it's almost like Bron like 
throw the ball to him, giving him the point guard duties, like reluctantly, like here. You you, you know what I mean? It, it, it Some don't seem right. So my hot take is Dennis Schroeder would not be with the Lakers after the trade deadline. Whoa. Hot take Joe. Do I bring him he in? He won't be there. Hmm? Why bring I, I, I think I, I believe that they were looking for somebody to help them score, but still be within the team offense. Schroeder is not doing it. There was a play where Mark Gasol was standing at three point line wide open. Schroeder just dribbled the ball and Mark did his hands like this. And then Schroeder tried to pass him the ball. It's something going on with that team. They do not have the camaraderie that they had last year right now. And I get in certain new people, but Mark Gasol, he, he's inserting himself quietly. He's not trying to dominate something. He's trying to fit in. Schroeder trying to stand out. So my question is, my question is to the Lake organization, you knew what you had in Schroeder. Schroeder has always tried to be a guy, like mentioned with the other point guards, because that's just, that's just his mentality. That's just his moxie, mm-hmm. how he carries himself, okay? So he kind of relegated that fall back last year in OKC because you got the point guard and Shea right, Gilbert right. was really good. And I felt like he accepted the role of being a six man, come out the bench and being a scoring spark. So now here you are. Why, why, so my question is, how could you not re-sign Rondo, which worked? Well, you lost Rondo, the beef inside. It's not that they didn't want to re-sign him. Rondo wanted more money. Also, Rondo say he wanted to go to the East Coast where his more his family is. No, it's where the strip clubs at. Shut your mouth. But uh, he he said in all the smoke interview that uh yeah he wanted to be on the East Coast close to the family and he okay. liked moving around the league. He said he liked the fact that for instance that he didn't stay with the Celtics for his whole career that he gets to move around the whole country basically and choose where he gonna live after his playing days over and he really is taking on what one of y'all was talking about uh the the, the hawks earlier yeah like, the fact mm-hmm. that he gets to groom uh trey young <clears throat> he really looking forward to that okay so that's my thing i i, I don't blame them for the move because i mean you make moves to try to better your team sometimes it just don't work out i mean that you know that that that's life itself so I just don't see him with, with that mentality. His mentality is saying he needs to actually come off the bench because then you have free reign. If it wasn't for the 2018 Cavs, Joe, I would offer some pushback. But if y'all remember 2018 Cavs that, that started the year, mm-hmm. that ain't what the fuck they ended with. Remember yeah. all the guys yeah. they brought in to go yeah. LeBron? Yeah. They brought in Isaiah Thomas. Crowder, in, uh, uh, Crowder, wasn't D Wade on that motherfucker? D Wade, yep. Yeah. Uh, Derrick Rose on that motherfucker? Yeah. What? What's Rose on there? Yeah, Rose was on there. Oh, oh well, it's, I might be getting mixed up. I don't know if that was. Yeah, you may. I, I don't, I don't know think if so. D Wade and D Rose on there at the same time. I don't Rose, know. Yeah. Rose was on that one. Okay, yeah, I believe Rose was on that team. And we know Crowder and Bruin didn't. They didn't. They didn't match. Maybe it was somebody. Yeah, some. Internally, yeah, proud and Isaiah Thomas didn't like what they were seeing and all that kind of shit. Anyhow, they ass got shipped the fuck out. Yep. <laughs> and, you and you see, Schroeder say Schroeder say he came with stipulations though. He wanted to be a starting point guard, but you you know, people got to stop saying this. Let, let's stop using the term point guard because there's too many people that play point guard that that does not play point guard. They're shooting so he guards. Won. He They're won. scoring he guards. So, yeah. yeah, so what is he – he wanted his FGAs, or did he say he wanted to handle the rock? What did he want See, to do? He, he says he's a starting point guard in his league. Um, when they did the trade, he claimed that his um, agent had told the Lakers that he wanted to start. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that when he saw that CP3 wasn't going to be there, he was like, they're going to just insert me into the point guard slot. So, but I'm like, yo type, his type of game, to be honest, is a six man game. You have a point guard that come in, run the team that score. And having him and Trez come off the bench, 
that would be lethal. He it might be lethal. seeing himself as a as a Trey Young, as a, as a Steph. I'm, America, I'm not saying he on that level. Well, I'm somebody is Dame. He want to sound like he want to be a scoring point guard. That's then. Exactly what I've been saying. I'm saying, you know, he thinks he's one of those guys. He thinks he's a boy. So maybe he thinks he can be LeBron's Kyrie. Nah. But that's what I'm saying. But okay, so with that mentality, right? Because we see the mentality that Anthony Davis has. Exactly. We're going to run into an issue. And I'm going to tell you something about Bron. Bron ain't going to let you mess up the chemistry on his team. He'll get you shipped out. If, if what you're saying is true, Joe, Bron going to be tweeting or posting soon. Got that Cryptic. Because, Cryptic message. Like I just said, if he's trying to be LeBron's Kyrie, that shit don't work in this dynamic. Because Anthony Davis is not supposed to be your Kevin Love or your Chris Bosh. Anthony right. Davis at 26, whatever years old, this is supposed to be his shit now. We yep. weren't saying it was supposed to be Kevin Love's team. Right. But when you finna have a 36-year-old LeBron James, it's supposed to be Anthony Davis, let's go and shit. If it goes like that, we can keep rolling. But uh, that's interesting. It's early. Maybe they get the chemistry right. But hot take Joe America hey, might, be on, might be on to something. Go. Go. Subscribe to our daddy's YouTube channel. He's the best. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications.